And you does too. You does too. And then we get Vertigo after, which is a perma ban, and I haven't cast much of that either. So hype for this one. I hope you guys at home are telling your friends to tune in because this could be the fairy tale story of Copenhagen Flames undefeated at the RMR, or it could be Vitality in Pursuit of Legend status. This is going to be a curious one here, right? Obviously, uh, we haven't seen either of these teams play on the New Dust 2, and uh, the fact that this is the perma ban of Copenhagen Flames being picked, uh, it also goes both ways, right? Vitality haven't seen what Copenhagen Flames have, and we spoke about it in the Movistar Riders game. Maybe the Copenhagen Flames have actually worked on this map, right? They've come on here and they've actually decided how they want to approach it. Safe flush assumption. Over, flush over long, they get into pit, and Kyojin's going to take some contact here. Smokes are set up for the cross, and it looks like standard Dust 2 already. It certainly does, at least for our pistol. And Shox is going to take some engagements. Apex is the one to take a scalp. Yabby. Deleted. Damn. And look at them just evacuate completely. Heading back to mid. Masuta is responsible. And oh my god, Vitality is so ahead of the curve, bro. They've already got three man set up of mid to B. Oh, they're, oh, they're active. For this, they are they? so vicious. You'd have to really hit some bangers here, Zyphon. Nikodos has de de delivered one, and so has his teammates. Everyone has found a headshot. It looked like it was done. Nikodos still keeping them pressured on A, and they want to commit there for the finish. It's Kyojin that they're trying to finish off. Oh, and they're going to go back around long with the player That's here mad, as well. actually, so yeah. If they get the bomb down. For this. There is plenty of time for this. Kyojin has to fight. Yeah, he's forcing the issue. Nikodos hears it, but doesn't matter. Great shot out of Kyojin. Game on. And Copenhagen Flames only have Masuta to trifle with now. Time sensitive mid. Holy stuff, Zyphon. I uh, got to talk to him just the other day. Oh, immediately. Here we go. Lower dark. Going to be highly contested now with the new changes. Hooksy aware. Flash forward and oh, into the lion's den. Yabby gets one. Shocks will trade on out, and it's getting a bit argy bargy. Yeah, he's going to push it forward. Needed that. Needed that. Shocks already profits from the ability to push lowers. A little more aggressively. The two CTs in tons, though. And Roy's dispatched to try and resolve that issue, but they're going to use the lovely safe B site as an evacuation point. Now that's just on the uh, on the force by round, right? Let's see how it really comes into play when we do get the guns out here. But the fact that they've scampered all the way back, Roy has vacuumed up all of this information, and he's called tunnels clear. If he continues to walk forward oh, into B, as the veteran ass. of this team, he can call the two players along all the way back. They can plant that bomb, and Vitaly will have to retake. Oh, this is a pretty solid push out of Roy, just like completely undeterred. Any of the powerful information they thought they'd have had, now gone. Zyphon's going to get the second smoke in the wall deployed. Actually, Nico oh, they throw a second wall entirely. So that's really going to kind of confirm in Vitality's mind. A little bit of a flub there. I'm not sure if there's going to be a gap or not. But you're right, it's oh, selling so much. He's pushed deep to deal with the CT, rotate. He has done so much. He hasn't fired a bullet, but he may have won them the round. Surely Vitality know that the mid has been open this entire time. How diligent are they going to be as they make their way back? They're not even flirting with the idea of that now. The smokes have faded, and Kyojin, he's the one who's going to have to clear this corner first. Brilliant stuff. Still can trip over their shoelaces. And that smoke on B site, yeah. Oh, Kyojin won't be clearing this. Maybe they just save? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, just man. completely out position. The bomb's going to go down. And see you later, Alligator. That's going to be the second round from Flames. All through positioning of Roy. They lock down the tunnels in the first 30 seconds of the round, Vitality. The French look brilliant using that new little way to make it into lower dark without being spotted. Great stuff. Yeah, and I haven't know, like, this is going to be my genuine first glance at how CT sides are approaching this. I haven't got to uh, see it too much, but... I mean, it is safe passage, right? There's no way that you're going to be able to get that info. You can't, like, you know, as we used to, just knife out and jiggle at the top. What you can do is obviously that boost that a lot of players were talking about immediately, right? So if you jump down in towards suicide, oh, right? Oh, you oh, can't you go can't on that go on box, box anymore. So you have to get on a teammate's head. Uh -huh. So it's more resources being used to cover off that position. I also saw multiple teams yep. on this map in recent times. So if you boost somebody short, you play aggressive mid, maybe get into lower tunnels, you can try and lock down mid in a Mirage-esque scenario. But back towards long, and out we go with Hooksy, the in-game leader of this one. Wow. Yes, look how much ter turf and territory he's taken already. He's pushed them back towards the site. And, well, this is business as usual as far as Dust2 goes in a round like this. So no extra space being taken. And I think we will just see oof, the smoke's getting lobbed on out for the safe passage of the cross. Kyojin flirting with death here. But that Deagle, we know he has good aim. And no absence of that. Spots the forearm of Roy leading the pack. And, wow, some serious chip damage has been conceded. A Galil for shocks, the MP9 of Masuta. The rest lighter than that. They have two smokes, so they could go for this again if they would like here, Copenhagen Flames. They don't have to rotate back. Happy just to stand their ground here. 
I suppose the biggest drama for them is all the bodies on the site for Vitality. So it's not going to be easy Ooh, for the French as Urchin jumps into a bullet. Ready to punish. Any little looky lose here are the Danes, and well, here they come. My, my. Committing in to the stack. It does require some good headshots, and well, Hooksy has eliminated Kyojin already. Good counter flash to stop Masuta on his progress. Shocks with it all to do now. And they are softened up for him. It needs some sharp shooting. Yabi long range on his MAC-10 has solved mystery, and down goes the Wu. But they keep landing on their feet, and I mean, it, you couldn't land better. Uh, at this point in time, undefeated to this point. You're in the playoffs of the EURMR and a win away. Well, they've got this mid control early here, so none of this crazy lower dark play coming on out. But speaking of crazy, Roy's through. Shox is flashed, and it's just space they're working with now. Dipping back through the smoke, luckily, the nade softens up three. So Shox with some unconfirmed damage there, but that's going to make the headshots easier as Nikodos, he's got a head to head duel with Zaiwu. Yeah, don't get them every day, but let's see how this one shapes up. Diligent clear, making sure no funny business on short, and his responsibility now is just that lurky smoke. Zaiwu scoped up in pursuit of that. Nikodos so far, oof, does advance into Zaiwu's crosshairs in the first in the feed from one of the world's greatest. First time his name has been featured. Active hold of B for now. And a split up default. Yabby is responsible for that. And you can see Zyphon is looking to catch anyone on the cross back. Zy was doing a lot of lifting now for Vitality to post the first here on the gun. They have to go A now. And they will. Flash off Apex, so some space taken. Roy, oh, he's been spotted towards the Gandalf position. And Hooksy confirms their suspicions. They're running out of players fast here. And the French looking for a spotless one. Not a point of damage has been inflicted, Chad. Not a single point of damage. Looking for the perfect finish. Apex confirms it. Just right, it's not going to be as impactful for AWPers anymore. Both ways, obviously. Uh, so we'll have to see how that one factors into this map. Again, long stubborn, aren't they? Fighting. Smoke for it to enable Kyojin to advance, and they're trapped on the blue bin. Oh, they're cooked. Molo lands. Roy trying to bail himself out of trouble, and he does. He fights fire with fire. Gunfire, to be specific. Three from Roy. Caught out. Oh, dear. Oh, that falls flaccid at the end there. Happens to everyone sometimes. Usually a mental thing. Yeah, got to get out of his own head. Yabby putting one. Grassroots, right? He went back to the beginning and uh, he's 27. He's definitely one of the older boys in this team, but it's great to see his impact here. Oh, and there we go. Another opener here. Starting to really heat up for Vitality now, looking for their third consecutive round to get themselves back into things. Remember, they picked this map, so... Does he hit the run booster? Wee. No. Doesn't even choose to take a shot, but instead... He's got a double. Nearly gets them both with one bullet. We've already seen the uh, triple collapse. And Yabby takes one. That's probably not going to make a big deal, but you never know what the Counter-Strike minds are thinking. As Zaiwu, with a warning shot, pressured again. More of these long plays now. It seems like a lot of their plays will hinge on taking that long control away from the CTs. We'll keep them guessing, keep feet planted. Hooksy trying to find some space on short, likely to be flashed. Tucked. Oh, Kyojin's going to think this is clear. Mm, definitely could catch a timing here. And Snappy from Hooks, he doesn't quite catch him in time. Missed Molly. They're re-aggressing short. There's multiple targets. Hooksy stands his ground. He can't see him. Apex is hunting him. Will eventually equal us out to a four on four early. And oh, Chad, they haven't got a single nade Ouch. to their name. It's just drive fights against an orb. Good luck, have fun. He didn't pull the trigger. Now a smoke to advance for the CTs. Saiwu can play around, peek around that. And yeah, it's just falling into place perfectly for Vitality. Yabby's shoulder just on the edge of that smoke. It's the first of the 1v4. Double peek. Caught counting. I don't know if that's a thing. Can you have one? I don't know. You're the Australian. You're yeah, supposed to be the know. expert. I really don't know. Okay. Oh, can <laughs> I have a kangaroo? Oh, you just need a permit. A permit, a kangaroo Washington permit. and Texas. Oh, well, that's America. Yeah. <laughs> well, they have all the weird animals, right, in Texas? Yeah. And they only cost between two and three K. So instead of force buying, just buy a kangaroo. That's probably cheaper than a Labrador, I think. <laughs> okay, well, uh, this is an economical round and we've got Three D, four Eagles, oh, and boy. a flash. Siphon unfortunately doesn't get to do mo too much with his run boost, but he is set up to get across that potential AWP line. Zywu, speaking of AWP lines, has opted for 
position just in front of the car. Now, this is one of those rounds, ladies and gents, where we talk about the utility, right, that is going to be siphoned by Zyphon and his crew out of the bank balance of Vitality. Want to make them reinvest. Want to make sure they keep every little penny costly here. If you didn't know, when you started playing Counter-Strike, you needed some form of a degree in economics. And that might one day be a uni course. Counter-Strike Economics 101. Maybe I'll be the lecturer. We don't know. Anders B. Loom. <laughs> Okay, well, this one is just going to fall apart here. It's some good pistol work for them on the pistol, but I don't see it here and now as Shock still resides on this B-bomb site. Two more to find and easy as you like. They both go down, Messi, and Nikodos is going to drop down to cover off. So we haven't seen an awful lot of lower dark pushes here, but this type of mid control would dissuade that and Shock's dicing with death. Interesting they've left the bomb at T-spawn here. Implies either a mistake or they're planning to sell something a little fraudulent and fakey. Hooksy's here early, Alex. I don't know if they're ready for this. Yeah, I mean, Kyojin's been good. Oh, oh, dear. He was caught on the inspect. A nice pop flash should give him the equalize quick. Apex is smoked off, but he looks like he just wants to go straight through. He wants answers. And he tries to take him by force. Yabby can't believe his luck. The flames will humble Roy. zaiwu has been called to action too. They are heading B, and that's Masuta completely isolated. They can't even cross. Yabby's got that on lock. Kyojin, perhaps, from short, could be their saving grace, but he's dropped CT too, so here comes the big pressure round for Masuta. A must clear. Roy confirms it. Oh, but Masuta bests two of them. Nikodos, careful on the mantle. His hits the must hit, but still not safe. Kyojin has got oh. so much. Back underway, and well, it won't be the long play. You can see that was the boost. That was it. That boost right there to stop the lower dark, and oh, it's double orbs now, and the first one has been found. Oh. Drop his smoke. Clean enough, I think. Do. That'll do nicely. Did you see in that video that I... I did, the pop flash. Yeah. I was just thinking... I'm so so funny you mentioned that. It's such a cool flash. It seems... Like, I can't believe we haven't discovered it sooner because it's gonna. it could potentially change how people play that long corner. It really was awesome. I, I liked watching that. Obviously, you're a bit open to spams in that position, but that's just such a, a, a cool, innovative way of, of dealing with that peak. But here we go. Zai, uh, sorry, Zai Wu, not Zai Fen. <laughs> He's holding the slitheriest of gaps. He fires off his shot, re-smoking the doors. That will force them forward into Kyojin. And to be clear, there you go. Yabby immediately pours us into a 4v4. And wide, caught out with a flash. Yabby works with just one point of health. And well... Seven of the eight players in the server now within close proximity of each other. They do still have two smokes for this long cross. And as I say that, both of them have been lobbed on out. But, oh, bit of a gap. I think they threw both of the T smokes deep. And that's a CT one that's in the oh, Apex front lines. Apex screaming. He's got a gap and a big one to execute the cross. Evasive maneuvers. Roy delivers something in the feed, but need a whole lot more. Hard shot to be hit. Oh, manages the spray. Zywu just on the jiggle. Eight seconds, though. They won't be getting that bomb down. Apex to confirm the round. Roy is the last to fall. And uh, but here we go. You see one, and then on top with ah, the two. It is quick. Yeah, and you can see, there you go. So we can still get the damage out like we used to. Just but, a few more resources. Yeah, and it makes, like, when it, when you think about it, for the, the ct sided Orpa, it's now just a small corridor that you're picking. It's no longer multiple different angles and elevations. So that's at least one positive, but Masuda's going to be like, come on, man. I thought we were over this. I'll fix this, right? <laughs> Shox can't hang around here for too long, and luckily he does have support towards CT spawn of Apex, who I'm loving his performance right now. Look at him go, he's in the right position on the second mantle. Mama. Gets caught, the inaccuracy plagues him. Now they want to return to A, and interestingly enough, that does seem like the right call. It is only Zaiwu. And Kyojin's responsible for long side. I don't envy Kyojin here, but he might be able to get away with a couple. He did have a nice ace versus Astralis from this position not that long ago. So he's going to have confidence taking these fights. Ah, but so does Yabby. That is a Whoa. deagle right between the eyes. Yeah, look at Zywu dropping a smoke just as it blooms. He seals Yabby's doom. Tag to 30. Masuta is the bodyguard everyone wants. 
Uh, it's been something that the community has been calling for a remedy to uh, CTs having to use their own smoke, but we're out long again. Yeah, we are, and again, Roy caught out this time. Doesn't quite find the same impact. Copenhagen Flames, they are continuously trying to play their game here. They like the long side. Vitality, just the individuals have been besting them. I don't like your chances at short. Zawu is here. They do have uh, Nikodos as well, though, but that, it's not never. it never feels like an easy fight for an Orpo to take this on the T side. No, far from it. We'll have a gap in that. No one from Vitality's fallen enough to put their head in that vice. Could boost him. Ah, they will. Okay, is Zywu ready for this? Nikodos being set up for success, and Zywu's reaction actually couldn't be better. It's in the blind spot. His barrel now probably... Spotted, no, a bit too passive. Zaiwu still ready to receive. Apex responsible for long, but will be able to react quickly. And he's got Run a boost belt now, I of think. utility. Oh, perfect spot from Zaiwu. He catches a glimpse of a flying player catapulting towards the site. Was Hootsie? Was being the past tense, and it's clean. Dragon Flames, but they had a great group stage here, so can't take anything away from this. Almost all oh. of the. Best in-game leaders are forged out of necessity. And Apex, no different. Zaiwu having a field day on long position. They are continuing to try and force the issue. You're up against the Orb. He is not flashed, but you are. Nikodos just gets himself across, but Ooh. two of the three hit. He'd love a headshot, can't find. Other teams like to have the Orb in the middle because the Orb is usually the most active player on the map. Here, it feels like the French have opted to have Zywo in the middle, but back towards Long and Apex. He's here again. Yep. Keep forcing the issue, and this time Apex has been booked. And they suspect Car. That could be the perfect Molly. Kyojin needs a bailout, needs a double Molly. Quick smoke. Okay, safe and sound. A hard shot for Shocks here on the double orb. They may suspect that Zywo. He's currently posting up and clearing top mid. Trying to make a wall to get Kyojin out of here now. Needs to get a move on with the flash. And thank you very much, Shoxy Jesus. Gives him another lease of life here. Shocks can even mantle on up and he can take a peek down towards pit. Fires off the warning shot, confirms location. Orb still on site. Copenhagen Flames working with 50. Plenty of time to piece this together. Not plenty of smokes. They, that has to be followed up by a second, otherwise they just don't have a war. And Yabby, oh, well, never mind. He's actually on B with his, so what am I talking about? He's trying to win this 1v1 catch. Masuda off guard, confirms it with a jiggle. Oof! He was 50% of the and way back there. To short. And back to short it will be. zaiwu has been waiting and biding his time for that. Looks like a very well-placed Molotov. Hooksy could go down. Nikodos strikes from long, and Nikodos puts his name in the feed twice. Only shocks to be found. I think they know where he's coming from, oh. and Nika does no scope. Some sites, so not an easy one to lose right there, but great from the Flames, and well, back towards long we go again. Hooksy blind, he goes down, Masuda. He gets some revenge here, but Yabby behind the Flames, almost, just almost, as the bullets through, they don't find Kyoj, and he gets away with his life, and he even cops an aid for his troubles. Yeah, an unfortunate sequence there. Hinge smoke likely. Oh, actually, no, Nika flashing himself in for a fight. And Zaiwu loves this clear, gets it once, gets it again. The right eye favors Zaiwu. A two man disadvantage. Kyojin is this time going to go down to the spray in that space, but not as much as he suspected. Masuta there to fill the gap. Roy knows there has to be a gap somewhere. Good volley. Into the smoke. Gabby caught on the walk. Masuta this time with the triple kill. He could... That's true as well. All right, well, this is... Uh, here we go. Uh, here we, here, yeah, here we go. go. Look at this. Yeah, they're holding for it. They Up may, the oh, guts. Apex reveals himself. Okay, guess he's going to get fruity. Just go away. That's the plan. The Nick Adoss looking to deny. Was looking to deny. <laughs> Has been denied. Yes. At the first hurdle. Bombs already planted, and the entire squad's there bar Apex. So this isn't going to be easy, nor is it going to be fun. Can I point something out just for a second? It might come back in the next round. Hooksy fully echoed this. As you can see here, it's $800. He didn't buy anything. I, I just want to make that in case next round it has some ramifications. Yeah, good spot. Interesting. 
Well, they're going to give it everything they've got. Closing in. Good shot out of Hooksy and didn't hold him back to find two headshots. And they're doing it again, Chad. <laughs> now it's only Kyojin. They have to be quick about this. They find it. Roy again with impact on the pistol. The 10 second defuse comes in and everything looks good for Vitality until it did doesn't. That's two pistol rounds that you've just gone for all in. So. Well, their buy looks pretty bloody good too. Of course it does. Gets the bomb down, gets some sufficient frags. You've got Zyra with an armored AK. Oh, look how wary he is of potential top mid push there as well. So, it's already He's starting got to come three different. M4A1s and a FAMAS as well. So, like, this is. The Counter Strike has changed and been tweaked for Shizzle. It's a juicy second round. Uh, Util is the problem, right? So, this is more about brute forcing your way in and finding those fights with your vitality. Trade's essential here, but they're clamping down on mid with two. Oh, and spammed on through. Masuda takes down Roy. That's huge. Oh, and he pegs. What? Oh, look at this boy go. He wants another. Takes a chunk out of Yabby. Careful now. They're dropping like flies. Only one man remains, and Vitality have quickly returned us to normality. Well, Shox is flanking this as well. So, unless Hooksy has some sixth sense that I'm not aware about, he will be dead meat. And there you go. <laughs> M4 picked up, and. Yeah, okay, they're quickly easy for uh, Masuda to find the opening there. A little bit unfortunate, yeah, and, they and they're pushing it, it again. Giving it again, two yeah, towards go. the tons. I wonder if Shox and Masuda are ready for that. Chunk taken out of Hooksy towards the doors. And they'll acknowledge the aggression. Nice from Nikodos' dig. The second oh. is there as well in the feed. Roy trifling with Shox. We'll have to pull the plug on that flash to get him out. Or pushing up, pushing up. But Apex can't get the info. Oh. Aggression. This is a tough one. Shox is trying to crack the cookies. Ivan's there as well. Shox with, with the, the drive-by Glock. Glock. That's the punishment for the absent helmet. And now they're just going to go long, but Shox, he is not going to be long for this world. Yabby, that is a banger and a half right there. This one is on like Donkey Kong. Okie dokie. Tuck in Roy looking for a denial. Okay. Sorry, what? Hey, Hooks, he's got smoker vision. Would need to have something even better now. Now they're doing a long plan. Undeniable, the Apex has the perfect weapon for the job. They got some fight in them, don't they, Flames? They do. There's a reason they top their group, Chad. If they break this, call me impressed. Yeah, there shouldn't be in any way in. I think Yabby's been spotted out. Sheesh, kebab. Maybe there is something to be said. He's got a scout, but he's so low. And oh, oh, my God! Come on, you can't be serious! <laughs> oh, and they're talking smack to the veterans! <laughs> By the way, so they're for the French, and okay, well, they can buy again. <laughs> wow, this has woken me right up, Chad. I'm back. Oh, and so it's Roy in the feed, puts Apex to bed, and here comes the aggression. Of course, they're getting oh, this is beautiful. spicy this with is this beautiful. on the CT side. They got full top mid control. Oh, it's so good. They're really taking this update and oh. punishing. Look at their health, and it's confirmed. But just just the concept of this, I know we're in the middle of a round right now, but this was one of the thoughts that you could have had. If you boost short, you no longer have to really worry about suicide anymore, right? It's not a place you want to be as a T anymore. You're kind of playing that short position like catwalk or mirage, right? Like, you're able to push on out, you can pick lower dark from there, or maybe even, like, connect. There's so many different ways that you can think about this, but the dynamic of this map, it could be pushed, right? I only have theory. I, I can't be in the server seeing what these pro teams are doing, but my thoughts were that mid could be a real new territory. And foolishly, I watched Vitality CT side and went, oh, I guess it's, Normal map. I guess it's just the same. Yeah. Uh, but then Copenhagen Flames have come in and said, hey, let me let me show you what, what it feels like now. Doesn't feel like a permaban for them by any means, does it? Oh, far from it. The French right now limping. Like, a stray bullet into Kyojin or Masuda, that's them dead. It will have to be on shocks here. And this molly from Zyphon couldn't be better time. The nade as well, chunking on down. See you later. Masuda's gone, and now it's a two on four. I kind of feel like the save would be the better option here, but in the Force by Wars, I don't know if that's the way you want to concede. Force by Wars. They'll have to use the Force to win a 2v4. Some Jedi mind tricks. You want to save. You want to hit a couple of heads. Sharks 1v3. He's looking spicy. He's Shocks. looking very scary. Okay, Yabby, good trade. And there's the gap closer. Just when I thought this half 
couldn't have got any more interesting. Copenhagen Flames with a crazy pit. Five, you're thinking, okay, okay, we get the pistol. Oh, we don't, we win the force. Either way, we should be smooth sailing here. But now, this is likely the ninth here for the Danes that can. Not the Danes that could, they've already done it. Remember what's on the line here today. They win this. They win this map right here. Sorry, this matchup, not map. Let me make sure that I'm clear on that. And they qualify for the major. What a dream it would be for some of these kids, for all of these kids. I've been 100%, bro. The French are in the same boat as what we just had at NIP, right? The, the favorite teams here are just trying to get themselves legend status. And just, it's a big deal. You skip the first full group stage of Swiss. And PGO actually announced the format a little bit earlier this evening. Uh, it's going to be four days and then into four days of Swiss, right? And uh, it's going to be best of ones for the establishers. And then it's going to be best of threes for the deciders, which is progression. Or it's going to be elimination, right? So at least we have those little safety nets on the way out the door. Yeah, well, certainly. And uh, Copenhagen Flames demonstrating a capacity to push the best. We still didn't land on a name for a round like this, did we? Yeah. It's just being fiscally responsible. <laughs> That's not bad. Just going to bide their time. And it's worked wonders. Well, you can have a look at the list on the right side of your screen. Barely a couple of flashbangs left. And so I would. Gone. Deleted. Nikodos puts his name for the 11th time in that kill feed. And there is work. the... The flashes that were coming by... ...integral component of the game we all know and love. Apex throwing that long corner smoke. Kyojin to have a little cursory glance. And it's three here. It's actually just for the extinguish. So he'll get a, a free look. I think he did some counting. There were four CTs there. There's no space initially being taken by Vitality going through the motions here and potentially going to get a bit cocky towards the double doors. Oh, well, Masuda's on his way out, so Roy can't rotate back on over now, so they yeah. don't know it, but Yabby is currently pinned on the B-bomb site on his lonesome here. If they take their eyes off and Roy wants to risk it, he could actually get on over there and help out that side of things, but this nade, if perfectly timed for hooks, he could do a real big chunk of damage. They're actually turning their attention towards mid now. and Well, that's the wrong call. They've well, moved away from the bombsite Vitality looking to hit. They get the info at the bare minimum. It's going to enable them to try and set something else up. They're making it very clear there's a CT presence. The trajectory of the smoke alone indicates as such. Good timing. Just between the two of them, but softened up. Apex certainly vulnerable now to those alternate rifles. Slow stuff here, though. We're down to 45 seconds remaining. Plenty of util left, and it looks like it's just going to be the standard short execute. Now, keep in mind, Nikodos doesn't have his AWP to defend against this, so he's going to have to get it done with the rifle. Oh, and they're going on flashes. This is pretty dry. Yeah, they come. Okay, shots connect. Apex is the last to bring that bomb across. Util to keep him safe and sound. This is still sketchy, right? I, uh, the guys from Vitality have struggled in the post plants. I can't tell if the Flames are going for this or not, right? We don't really have a good benchmark for these guys just yet, but this flash here in Hooksy's hands says they may, maybe they go for it. Okay, Masuta gonna swallow that. So did Roy, jumping through was Yabi. Oh, and a messy spray, Kyojin's done enough. The elusive 12th looks to be secured here by the French, and it's an unusual defense of that retake, but it's worked wonders. Yeah, normally you don't love having everybody playing in camp because you can be smoked off if they retake through CT or if they still have that long control. But here, no dramas. They actually come on into the den. And that's that 12th you in towards that death alley position. And he only has the AK, so can't risk the fight against Nikodos, who, with that warning shot, lets everybody know the AWP is out on the table. And he's patrolling middle, right? I, this could give the CTs more confidence, knowing they don't have to worry about that T-spawn position. Still have to worry about the lower dark crawl. Suicide's still a problem, and back a cat as well. But one less area of activity to worry about here. A deep mid smoke, okay. Hmm. Well, that's going to mean that Masuda can't start anything uh, through the mid doors, and it still allows Nikodos to peek on over. So, information at least. Careful, Saiwu. I want to swing too wide as he stays on those jiggles. And now, with well, just above a minute on the clock here, Vitality are going to drop that hinge smoke and start working on this cat presence. They have Roy and Hooksy on the site, Xiphon over towards the pit, and this is the trap that's going to snap shut. When Roy calls, Hooksy flashes, and he's going to peek on out. Sitting. That's textbook. Dark, yep. 
Looking to tear it up. The textbook, that is. Ah, oh, the French take the space. Roy falls off, has to respect it. But they've uh, once again put Vitality into a bit of a back foot, smoked off on long. And at the 32nd mark, chat, the, the territory they have is long doors and short. Yeah, this is going to be really difficult. I don't know how they get into this. Oh, quite the quick shot. Zypher's going to be tested here. They have to go, boys. They do. 20 seconds. They looked hesitant. He's tucked in, trying to play time. Now the shots are connecting. Hooksy got so much to deal with here. The bomb's coming thick and fast. Kyojin's clear has not been successful. 12 seconds, Hooksy! Hooksy struggling! A chance, perhaps, in a couple of seconds. Oh, he's across. Did the bullet delay? Uh... I think they might have delayed him. Just survive! Can't get it down in Oh, time. that shot! It wasn't a kill chat, but it was just enough to slow down. And with this hodgepodge scenario. And look, Nikolos is not afraid to take this fight anymore. This is this is great just to see the, I want to say, cockiness to go for duels like this. And it's what you want to see out of the underdogs. You don't want them to back down. You don't want them to shy away from the moment. You also don't want them to lose to half by tech nines. Well, that's true. But more of the default spread, two and lower. As I were back at Cat, Kyojin outside long, shocks in upper tunnels. And we wait. Vitality have been very, very slow here. It seems round after round, there's no rush for them. Yeah, I wonder how much of that is is the contributions that Copenhagen Flames have been putting into this server here. Just helping them. Or getting under Vitality's skin just a little bit. I think that first half looked to indicate that this was going to be exactly what Vitality anticipated so far. Ooh, so good. Nico doesn't quite connect. Roy does. Yeah, re-aggressing and... Oh, yabby, yabby, yabby. Careful here. It, on the fade, he tries to tuck in. Does turn the... Dribble smoke. He'll be checked. Yep, staring at the wall. Shocks condemns him to death. Nikodos needs a lot here. And it's not easy with the orbs of Tech Nines closing that gap. And these are the rounds you want to hold on to. You have the advantage. Their retakes have been on point nice so far, in. Chad. They got a flash and a couple of smokes for this, so they can make this one work. Coming through the tunnel's position will be Xyphon. Like a boost. Are you asking for the smoke instead? A warning shot has already fired off. Kyojin aggressive. Dealt with him. Three more required. Xyphon contributes. They need this. Vitality. A light investment and only shocks will the frag. It is Copenhagen Flames 11th. They've been great on these retakes. Haven't they? They've been fantastic. They stay poised. They stay calm. I know it's a, a cripple buy from Vitality there, but still. I've seen I've seen bigger names just head to long after seeing the same circumstance. Here's that boost. Zaiwu on his teammate's head. Going to call mid clear, and it's a four-man lean towards long. They wanted to set up in case there was... A quick play from Vitality, but again, it is this slower crawl, just this default spread. Nikodos is working back over towards the mid doors here, so we might see an AWP on AWP duel. Remember, Masuda had that awkward one a little bit earlier, but can't step a foot out of line. Zaiwu, ready for the peak. He's definitely won the head-to-head -head with Nikodos, but uh, it's not to stop Nikodos in his contributions, though. And the AWP on AWP action. Well, if you have a four on five right now, Vitality, this is a round that you have to convert because we've already seen how threatening the Copenhagen Flames are in the retake situations. Well, just, you can finish your sentence after threatening they are. Yeah, um, just in general. Good showing so far, isn't so it? So far, yeah. I mean, we'll see if they fall victim to that, the classic kind of uh, best of three fate we saw Movistar Riders fall into, but let's see if they can find any more impact here on D2. It's through long and there's three players on A, so the Copenhagen Flames have a good defense here. Yeah. Interesting reaction, Chad. What do you make of this? Yabby and They need Siphon. some space, right? They don't want to get pinned on the site, so at least this is info to work with. Hooks, he's flirting with the rotation as well. They'll double flash. Oh, oh the things that could have been. He gets a face full of info. Yabby, the B player's here. Is he up to the task? Shadow, Shadow spotted out by Apex and executed by Zywu. Yeah, falling apart. Zywu's contributed head and shoulders above the rest. Hooksy could save the AWP and it's shocks to catch him on the cross. Nice management of his angles. Oh, they want to take this away, right? Money's not great. Masuda's chasing. Shox is cutting him off as well. Spotted oh. towards that window position and, well, another missed shot here. He will be going down. Shox with the... 
Interesting spray, almost, almost. Mind as I Woo Jersey, respect to the Vitality fan. Not many of them out there, is there? <laughs> yeah, well, exactly. We've already seen this aggressive maneuver. So what they do right now is they have Hooksy oversee business in Death Alley with the scout. They have two push into lower and one ready to clamp in from the upper tunnel. So this is a maneuver that they're hoping to get away with. Now, info is great. But outside of info, they need to find some impact. And Roy in the lower tunnels with the CZ. You're going to get cleared. Oh, oh Apex catches a bullet, but no There's finish. one more, though. Yeah, short, a chance. Siphon won. And Nikodos has been caught. Kyojin looking much sharper. Mm -hmm. A chance on that scout shot. Hoopsie will try and pull the trigger again, but shot's too quick to the head. Sketchy. Long range on that MB9. Yeah, well, Shock's making up for last round with at least one tap to the dome. The AK for Yabby is great here, and I think if I was Yabby, damage would be good, but the save even better because of the force by nature. They need something to operate with to uh, stop Vitality from getting to 15. Someone type it. Look how focused he is, right? We get this picture and picture, you can just see just in saving, you know? Can't take your eye off the... ...to 11 already. The 10-5 half. Five rounds posted by Copenhagen Flames on their defense. Or rather, sorry, on their attack. You seen this one from Zywu? It was put on Reddit. It feels like a long time ago now, but that's the hinge smoke. <laughs> Lol. Hold up a second. Yeah, yeah. Baby. This could be massive. Yeah, that smoke at the top of mid. Giving him a nice little battleground to play in round and is brave to be peeking into Zywu. He'll be punished for that by the French Orpa. And that, I mean, it's one way to apply your trade with a save rifle. It does, however, mean it's quite hard to retrieve. Yeah, with it all the way up top mid, it is marooned. And if Vitality just continue up long here, if they're fast about it, they should be getting into A for almost free. Zyphon does have the Deagle in his hands here. So he'd have to hit some massive shots from this short position. They have been able to get the AK back for Roy, yeah. So they're in the right place, Alex. I don't want to get too excited. They shouldn't win this round. Yeah, there should be nothing left of the Flames. And Roy, if he puts himself any further, he is going to be full victim to Zai Woo. Firing the AK through, finding shocks and getting away safely. Spotting out more advanced than Suta. is contributing in buckets and spades. And yeah, Hooksy with the AK of his own on the retreat. Molly forces his hand to retreat and save. Yeah, when you saw Hooksy pick up the AK as well, you're thinking, okay, well, if they can just stall them out, maybe, just maybe, he can get something done. But he's going back on in here. Now, we saw Yabby in the last round save in plain sight, but Hooksy only has 23 points of health here. What is he considering? Are you really going for what this one, Hooksy? What is he up to? All right. I'm interested. Oh, and so is Masuta. There you go, Tality fan. Feeling it now. Just one more. Tumble very quickly out of control here for the Flames. Your next movements, your next decisions have huge ramifications. Wow, Hooksy tested, tested in a big way, just about gets away from the initial engagement. Elsewhere, Zaiwu has put one body down. I believe that was towards B. I wonder if that's going to have implications into the finish. Look where the bomb is, though. They're going to have to send somebody back to pick that one up. Hmm. Bit of an explorer mission. Yeah, and the smoke obviously leaves Vitality guessing. They don't have the guarantee now as to how many players have crossed. I think they have to be active on this B defense as well. They will need to start walking through the upper tunnels. And Zywu is waiting, but how patient is he? Clock about to hit a minute. Zywu was waiting for this exact maneuver. Oh, and he collects. Is he expecting more? Oh, he is. Wow. They, have, they don't even need the bomb chat. The fight's going to come to them. Oh, but a miss. Nikados bests him in the head-to-head. -head. One for him. B sites on lock. Kyojin got a decision to make, as have Vitality, and it oh, seems. They are going B. They want to avenge their fallen comrade. Would have been horrible if they were able to scavenge that AWP. Well, maybe great for the Flames, and Nikodos could have posted up back a plat with this, but now it's going to be 3v1. Yeah, they're going to have their sights set on that box as well. Nikodos trying to hide his floppy beanie. Got to choose when to strike. He does take a shot and a, ha and a head. Well, they'll come for this retake, right? This is obviously do or die right now. Yeah, a smoke and two bodies, a two-on-two. 
wingman game with heavy implications. Good luck, have fun. Roy coming in from main side, Zyphen to work the tunnels. Time is of the essence for these boys, so Roy might find himself taking engagements without the help of his teammate initially. Back plat, bricks. Passive setup, Roy strikes, it's bricks to be cleared, and Roy gets away from the first engagement. Oh, they've done it again. Another successful retake in the face of adversity, and the loss does too. They pull it out of the hat. How do they keep doing this? Their retakes have been on point, right? Ow. They've been able to pull this. Britain, though. I mean, just it could end at any moment. An opener, a crazy maneuver. Oh, here we go, lower again, mid presence again. Only one player towards long. Nikodos is going to call a lot of information out here, and that flash is telling. Now, this becomes more about the mind game who takes space, and you're going to have to go back and push them off of short. You don't know how far they've really pushed on up. Masuda, look how passive this is. Guys, tell me the last time you saw this. <laughs> it's just the nature of the map now because we know Roy, for example, could push on in through those lower tunnels. So the speculation, if you go for the all-in longs, really starts to add some doubt. And Nikodos, he needs to get something done from this position. Yeah, his flash alone has caused this reaction. Uh, no, a snappy reaction, but not on the mark. Roy, however, has dealt with the Masuda crawl. So they still have control. And shocks. Oh, he was biding his time in pit for so long, and I think Zyphon just assumed the rest of the team were not there. Well, unfortunately, the whole squad's coming. Hooksy calling for backup, calling for raid. They're just going for fights. What is going on here? A wall of smokes. It could be it. Only two bodies remain for the flames. On oh, his toes. Hooksy. Oh, the flash is decent. He can't do anything with it. He unfortunately, swallowed it himself. The timing just a little far off, and the trajectory alone will imply Roy's position. Shocks his first. We'd need another snappy. Zaiwu confirms it. Okay.